Here is a straightforward, basic example of how the failure to understand the importance of setting the divorcing clients up for post-decree success can cause one spouse from fulfilling a requirement of the divorce settlement agreement. During Frank and Mary's divorce proceedings, they agreed that Mary is going to retain the marital home and refinance Frank's name off of the current mortgage while giving him 50% of the equity in the form of cash received through the refinance. As part of the divorce settlement agreement, Mary is to receive monthly maintenance in the amount of $4,000 for the next three years. Mary receives her first month's maintenance check and immediately applies for a new mortgage. Unfortunately, Mary doesn't qualify for the new mortgage and is unable to refinance in order to give Frank his 50% of the home equity. Why? Mary is unable to provide proof of receipt for six months of maintenance. And no, Frank cannot pay six months up front because of the six month rule is in effect to establish stability of the income. Mary will need to wait to close her new mortgage after the six month mark. However, now that Mary has to wait six months in order to show proof of receipt, she no longer meets the continuance requirement of three years as she is now down to 30 months receipt of income left. Now here's another example using Frank and Mary. However, the $4,000 support is divided between maintenance and child support. Mary was awarded a total of $4,000 a month allocated as follows. $3,000 spousal support, $1,000 child support for consideration of their two children. Billy, who is currently 16 years old, and Anna, who is currently 10 years old. Do you see any potential issues here with Mary being able to use the full $4,000 as qualifying income for mortgage financing purposes?